In today's video, we're going to be looking at how to edit a mesh STL file using SOLIDWORKS 2020. Historically, editing a mesh STL file has been a bit of a challenge because unlike a traditional solid body CAD file, an STL file is made up of a series of triangulated faces which aren't addressable as a group. In this video, we'll be looking at an STL file that has a slot feature that we want to remove. So we're going to make that modification using SOLIDWORKS Direct Mesh Editing and then re-export the file as an STL. Our first step is to import the mesh into SOLIDWORKS, which we can do by dragging the mesh directly into the SOLIDWORKS application. Once our model has been imported, you'll notice we can address faces, lines, and even individual vertices just like we would on a solid model. This is going to be very useful for the sketching portion of this project coming up. For this model, we want to delete and patch the slot feature, making sure that the top and bottom of the model remain planar surfaces. The first step of this project is to determine our sketch plane location. We can do this by finding some of the coplanar faces that make up the top of the model. We'll select one of these and then click Sketch. Once we've selected a sketch plane, we'll start using some of the lines and vertices of this model as a reference for our construction geometry. Using two of the vertices from the slot feature, I'll create a construction line. And I'll repeat this for the other side as well. Using these two construction lines, we're going to create a slot using the midpoint of both lines as our reference for our feature, and we're going to slightly oversize it, as we're going to be creating a solid body that intersects the original STL file. The next step is to extrude this feature. For our extrude function, we're going to select up to surface as our end condition, selecting one of the planar faces on the back of our model as our surface. Once this has been set up, Click the green check mark to complete this feature. At this point, our modification of this model is complete and the slot feature has been deleted. The file can now be re-exported as an STL for future use. Using this process allows us to import a mesh STL file directly into SOLIDWORKS 2020, using the mesh faces and vertices as sketching tools to assist us with modifying the file. At this point in the process, we can also use the Zebra Stripes tool to check that the top of the model has a planar surface. We can now safely export as an STL and the file is ready for future use. 